Welcome to another session. Today we are going to start from where we left. It's a training series that's going on on PLC and we are here on the fourth lecture of it. Today we are starting at what are the PLC brands available, what are the manufacturers of the PLCs, what are the big names in the control systems. Siemens, Emerson, Mitsubishi, ABB, Schneider, Honeywell and GE. Apart from it there are a lot of others but it's, it's the main brands that, that are available in the market. We will discuss and we are actually discussing about the Siemens PLC so far. In Siemens PLC we have covered the basic hardware so far and now today we are going to talk about the PLC CPO indications and errors. Let's start with one by one. The so the first indication we can see here is SF. SF is a system fault and normally system consists of hardware and the software so like as SF is a system for so any error in the PLC hardware or software is normally called as SF and this SF is indication of error either in hardware or the software of the PLC if we talk about the software error error in the programming is considered as a software error if we talk about the error in hardware then example of the error is going to be like power loss in one of the module of the PLC for instance if analog input module is running and transferring data with the CPU due to any reason if power of that particular module is going to be switched off due to any reason in that case it will stop transferring the data with the CPU and this bus f uh, system fault is going to be on it. So the next one is the bus fault and it's all about error in the networking like in the case of Profibus if any one of the connector is not properly connected or is disconnected then we can have for instance in that case PF error that is bus error or bus fault you can say PF stand for bus fault then we have uh, in the case there is like for example address overlap like if in the case you have given three node address to the CPU and you have given the same three address node address to any other module there in the network the PLC then bus error or bus fault is gonna be there also in that case then we have uh, main T or you can say a maintenance error or uh, indication here like this particular maintenance error is gonna tell us like CPU is not running and it needs troubleshooting there then we have uh, indication DC 5 volt that shows like CPU is powered with the 24 volt and CPU is running and then we have force mode what is the force indication are here in the CPU that tells us like some of the input or output of the PLC is forced by like PLC program in normally like for 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 example like we have a digital input that come in from field digital input can be either 0 or 1 but you are not considering what is coming from the field uh, due to any reason and you are forcing the value by PLC program then this force indication will turn on that shows some of the input is forced by the PLC program so then we have run here run tells us that CPU is running and then we have a stop mode stop mode tells like CPU is not processing and it's stopped apart from it we do have selection switch let's talk about the selection switch that is present on the CPU of the PLC we have uh, four selections in old CPUs we have run and B, run, stop and memory reset run and in run and B selection if you are selected like you, you select run and B 
and in that situation what is going to happen like you can upload and download the program in run you can only upload you cannot download in there and then in stop mode when you select the stop mode then cpu will stop its processing and then we have memory reset it's used for resetting the memory or erasing the memory so what we have fourth option memory reset and here we go then in new cpus we have run stop and memory reset run and p in old cpu was what what is it doing like it was like in that selection you can upload you can download in, in into the cpu of the plc same here in that new cpus you have run mode in run and run mode you can upload you can download also and you have stop mode in there should cpu will stop the processing and then we have memory reset what the memory reset is doing memory reset is erasing the memory of the plc it's resetting the memory of the plc hope you are liking the series of it and automation academy on plc train thank you very much for watching this video if you like it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel for subscribing all you have to do is you have to come on this subscribe button right over here click on that and you are not done yet because you have to put on notification here send me all notification for this channel and then save by this way you will not miss any video from IT and Automation Academy thanks all was joining that thank you very much bye <laughs>